Okay, guys. Uh, today we are going to learn how to write a formal letter, right? Uh, by the way, academic candidates will have to take gender training IELTS as well after four or five years, inshallah. Say inshallah. Pakke nahi ho na? Ke kacche ho gayi wapis aaja na? Yeah, pakke hoon vaste. Yeah, pakka ek ye wala pakka hota hai, ek vaisi banda pakka ho jata hai. Pachas saal ke baad, okay? So not that one. Anyways, uh, formal letter. Gender training writing task one is letter writing. Academic writing task one is report writing. And essay writing is same. There is no difference there, okay? So we have three types of letters. One is formal, second is semi-formal, and third is informal. The most important types are formal and informal. Sometimes they give semi-formal, but mainly formal and informal. Today we are going to learn how to write a formal letter. So. Whenever you write a formal letter, beginning is dear sir or madam, and then there should be comma. Book me comma nia comma lagade. Dear sir or madam, then there is comma. No greeting necessary. Greeting is what? I hope you are all right, or this letter finds you well, and all that. You don't need to write any greeting. Okay? Next, no contractions. What are contractions? Don't, doesn't, shouldn't, isn't. So don't use any contractions. Next, normally avoid direct questions. Don't ask any questions. In formal letter, don't ask any question. No exclamation mark. What an exclamation sign? Hooray! Like that. Linking words you can use, however, uh, the words that we used in essay writing, you can use those linking words also. And then we have phrases and vocabulary with regard to whatever it is. And then there is ending. Okay. Now, after this, and by the way, you will have to go through at least five to six formal letters before coming for your mock test. Now, please come to page number 19. Page number 19. And over here, we have this table. Look here. Page 19, we have this table and this one. <clears throat> if you don't know the name of the addressee, addressee means recipient. Recipient means receiver of your letter. If you don't know the name and how don't you, uh, I mean, why don't you know the name? If you're writing a letter to the manager of a company and you've never been to that company. Now, for example, I bought this product and I'm writing a letter to the manager, complaint letter. I don't know who the manager is. I don't know even the name and gender of the manager. So in that case, I will start dear sir or madam comma. It's a good idea to start formal letter with dear sir or madam comma, right? And ending is going to be yours faithfully. And comma is missing, please write comma there. Yours faithfully. Clear? Okay. Now, we'll go through one formal letter so that you guys are very clear about it. <clears throat> Page number 24, please. Page number 24. You missed a flight to a pro you missed a flight due to a problem at the airport. Now imagine when they say you missed a flight, imagine I missed a flight due to a problem at the airport. Write a letter to the airline. Now, you don't know whether the recipient of letter is male, female, madam, sir, and all that. So, this is going to be a formal letter. When you write a letter to someone unknown, the person you don't know, that is formal letter. In your letter, describe what happened that caused you to miss the flight. This is basically the problem. So, you will write the problem. Next, explain how missing your flight affected you. So, this is effect. First problem, and then effect of that problem. And finally, make it clear what you would like the airline to do. Jurmana kya dalna unko. Okay? That is what we call request. So in your letter, there are three parts. Problem, effect, and request. So for these, you can write three separate paragraphs. One paragraph for problem, one paragraph for effect, and one for request. And you should be clear. Problem kya batana hai, effect kya batana hai, request kya karni hai. Okay? Now please come down. Problem. I was given the wrong boarding card. Yeah, you wanted to go to Karachi and you reached Islamabad. Yeah, wrong boarding card, problem. Effect, I missed two days of my holidays. Right, imagine you are traveling to New York and they give you the wrong boarding card of London. 
so effect is i missed two days of my holidays request i would like compensation compensation hotel ke paise dein taxi ke paise dein jo mera itna nuksan hua uska harjana dein that's what they call compensation for the flight and other expenses okay now we write the letter and remember there are five parts of letter i'll tell you about all five parts number 1 dear sir or madam this is first part aur iske baad ek line chhodni hai after part 1 you have to leave the line next uh, i am writing with regard this is what we call statement of purpose statement of purpose means why are you writing the letter statement of purpose letter likhne ka maqsad kya hai it's so it's often one sentence i am writing with regard to a flight that i missed due to a mistake by one of your employees very simple iske baad phir ek line chhodni hai theek hai ye line chhodne wala kaam jo hai na isko chhodna nahi hai it's important now next we are going to talk about what happened two weeks ago i was due to catch a flight to rome where i intended to spend four days on holidays unfortunately the attendant at the check in desk gave me a boarding card for a different flight and i did not notice the mistake until i arrived at the departure gate and it was too late all clear yes yeah, so now you mentioned here describe what happened that caused you to miss the flight so this is first point now we are left with explain how missing your flight affected you and make it clear what you would like the airline to do next as a result of the error i was not allowed to board the flight to rome and this caused me great inconvenience i had to book a new flight two days after which meant that i missed two days of my holiday and i had to spend an extra 350 dollars currency in your essay in your letter you should write international currency dollar is fine you can write dollars now request last point request as the mistake was caused by your company i hope that you will compensate me for the cost of the additional flight as well as for my taxi fares to and from the airport now what is that that is request iske baad phir ek line chhodni come to next page yours faithfully when the letter is formal left side pe aap likhenge yours faithfully then there will be comma and then again leave your line now when you are writing formal letter you will write your full name for example my name is asad yakub if i am writing formal letter at the end i will write asad yakub okay because this is my official name and on the other hand if the letter is informal then i will write asad okay so this is the difference now tomorrow for your exam you will get formal letter in this book you can at least read four five letters right and then tomorrow you'll be given any other topic and you will have to write letter on that right okay thank you